So here we have the Kia Picanto on an 18 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of it from there. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. So on the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and coolant temperature gauge. On the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total mass of the car. They are 50,685. You can change information that's displayed in that section uh, with the trip computer button that's out on the steering wheel just here. You can reset trip computer information from there. Over on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, we have stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after you pair the phone up to the car, of course. And that is done over on the central uh, stereo here. So hit the phone button. Uh, you would hit number two to add new. We're going to cancel that for now. Uh, up the top, we have the radio, of course. So FM and AM radio. If you listen to your own music, you press the media button. Nothing is available at the moment because nothing is connected or inserted. Uh, we can listen to our music via auxiliary and USB inputs. So plenty of ways to listen to your music in this car. And we have the main volume for the stereo just here. Working our way down from that, uh, we can change the direction the air is being distributed in once it enters the vehicle, the fan speed of the air and the temperature, of course. Once you're happy with those settings, you can turn your air conditioning off in this case or back on again. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly. And you do that by pressing that button in just there. And then we have our heated rear screen over on the left-hand side. Beneath that, we have a 12 volt charging socket, auxiliary input and a USB input as well. Uh, we then have a couple of cup holders and the uh, gear lever for the five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Mac One Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.